up like this. No, that looks strange. <laughs> Maybe down. Why does that look strange now? I don't know if this meant to be up or down. Okay, wait, like that. <laughs> hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is gonna be something kind of cute, something kind of different. I'm gonna be playing around with the brand new Amrezy X Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Look at how gorgeous this moment is. Oh, wow. Okay, so we are gonna be making up a look just off the top of our head and let me just reveal to you what this actually looks like. Oh, I mean, are we living? Let's have some fun. Let's play with something a little bit more pink and let's get straight into the video. I definitely need a drink. My mouth's like, dry, dry. Oh, wow. You know when it's been a long day and you're gonna do a late night filming? Are we ready for this? Is it me or is this lid meant to be this hard? Okay guys, so as you can tell from the background, I'm gonna try and make this a cute, pink moment. So I have here a pink mirror, which is super cute. And I also have, <laughs> you're gonna die, some pink brushes from the Jeffree Star X Morphe collaboration as well. So I'm very, very excited to basically indulge and just play with this and have a moment. As you can probably tell from the color scheme, this is going to be a little bit of a Valentine's Day special video. I'm planning, I'm trying to be really organized guys. So I'm planning on doing like a mini Valentine series this time this year. And I know this might be a little bit early for some of you, but it's better I start early than be late. And then we're just late in the game and no one even cares about Valentine's Day anymore. And it's just like, bah, 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 bah. Anyway, let's start with a look and stop chatting. I'm going to be using the P. Louise Rumor 2. This eye base insane. I mean, we don't, we, we don't play here. Like we already know how good this is. Obviously I have already done my makeup beforehand. I have been in meetings all day. So this makeup has been on me since the AM. It might be looking a little bit dry and crusty, but hopefully we'll be able to pull this all together and it will be absolutely fine. So usually I always start with the eye base. I literally feel like this just makes the pigments really, really pop and it Again, just helps clean up that eye for us right now. That is maybe a bit too much product. Oops. But it's okay. We have two eyes so we can spread some to the other side. Like so. You can really see how pigmented this product is, guys. It's absolutely amazing. So as I mentioned, it has been quite a long day. I've been back to back in meetings today. And I get so excited whenever I'm meeting people. And you just have a really good catch up. And today, I would say, has been a very successful day. I definitely feel so, so lucky to be living in London where I get to meet face to face with so many brands and clients. And today, we basically had an amazing brainstorm. There was a bit of a pitch going on and we were basically planning loads of fun stuff for the first quarter of 2020. So this is actually really, really exciting. I'm like kind of shooketh. I can't believe this is really happening. And I know for a lot of people, January was not the best month. And I just want you guys to know that if it wasn't the best month for you, it's okay. Like don't put all this pressure on yourself, guys. Don't be putting all this pressure, especially when you see on social media, like everyone's doing something or everyone's got something coming up in 2020 or someone's got plans and stuff and if I'm really honest like January for me was kind of chill like it was good it was kind of chill like nothing major happened apart from I wanted to start working out a little bit more want to eat a little bit more healthy get some home stuff going but apart from that guys you just need to like take it easy do you know what I mean like it's all good it's all good Life is great. Life is great. I'm definitely one of those people as well who's an optimist. So I probably seem quite positive all the time. And that's just the way I am. Uh, sometimes I do like to have a bit of a rant though, which is kind of jokes. And I know so many of you love it when I have a little rant on my Instagram stories. <laughs> But usually, like 95% of the time, I'm like super happy. Okay, so here is the palette. Oh, I was actually so, so excited when I got my hands on this. And I know that this has already launched and it's been out for a little while. I definitely feel so much pressure that as soon as the product comes out, everyone starts asking me to review it, put it on my channel, and you, you're just, like the first person like to put it up and you feel all this pressure. But honestly, guys, it's all good. Like I'm gonna be doing more reviews this year and I'm not gonna be like in a rush all the time I might actually just listen to you guys and see like what you actually really want and if there's a launch that you're super excited 
excited about, just let me know and I'll go and get it. If I've been sent it via PR, I'll feature it. And if I haven't, I'll just go ahead and buy it and I will let you know what I think. But I thought this was the perfect, perfect palette for Valentine's Day because it's sparkly, it's pink and inside, oh, I mean, the color story is just everything. So really guys, like if I'm honest, I feel like there's so many looks you can create with this palette. The color story is amazing. We already know that Anastasia Beverly Hills formulation is like insane. Ugh, palettes are always popping. Low key, it's, it is a dream of mine to one day collaborate with this brand. Like, not even gonna lie. I've met Anastasia herself a few times and I just love her. Like, I love her energy. She's just amazing. She is a boss. I can't describe it any other way, but she's so inspirational in that way. She's just a boss. So definitely here, I wanna be creating something that is very inspired by Amrizi's actual shoot campaign. So the photo shoot she did to launch her palette. And it was very much like a smoked out pink moment look, which I thought was super, super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe focus on the more pinker shades and maybe deepen it up with a little bit of a brown or a black. Um, usually when I'm creating a look, I just make it up as I go. So, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Woo! Woo! I did not just do that. I have crumbled one of the shades. I'm so sad. Okay, so our base is already on our eyes. What I'm gonna do is bring you a little bit closer so that you can see. I am gonna give a little bit of a disclaimer as well on this video. My nails are outgrown. They need doing. So let's just move along because I haven't had time to do them, but I will get them done. Secondly, my neck's looking pale because I haven't faked tanned recently because we just got new bedding and I don't want to get tan all over the bedding. So there is a bit of a pale neck situation, but we're just gonna move on from that. Like I said, guys, if your January hasn't gone to plan, it's all good, okay? We've still got another 11 months to get it all sorted. Okay, so we are a little bit zoomed in. I hope this is okay. You're gonna see everything because I film in HD. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna be starting off with these two brushes. We're going to use the blending brush on this side to kind of create a shape. And then we're gonna use this brush to kind of just blow it out. I'm gonna start off with OG and maybe mix in New Yorker. So one of these two and the reason why is because I'm gonna start off with my transition shade at the moment. Usually I go straight in there with color. So I haven't done this zoomed in business before. I usually just zoom in in post. So yeah, we're gonna just build up a bit of a transition, nothing crazy. I want the look to be quite pink. So I really don't want this to be a focus. So what's everyone been up to? Like, is everyone excited for Valentine's Day? I honestly feel like guys, it is such a cheesy holiday. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it's so cheesy. Like Valentine's Day is so cheesy for me. And usually I don't really celebrate it. Like it's nothing that exciting for me, if I'm honest. But yeah, now you should just do you. If it's something that you wanna celebrate, then you should celebrate it. But I definitely feel like if you have a loved one in your life, then you should love them all year round, do you know what I mean? And not just on Valentine's Day. All right guys, so we can kind of see I'm doing circular motions on the inside. I quite like this because it connects my nose contour. Sometimes I take it right up to that brow area and then I will sweep it across because I've got quite hooded lids. So you can see my socket line is quite deep. So if I do detailing there, you just don't see it as much. So I try to go over a little bit and then on the end I go upwards and I'm actually really liking this kind of like slightly up feel because it kind of like just lifts your face like this like do you know what I mean? So we're kind of doing that at the moment. You know, that's just the vibe that I like doing. Again, it's quite nice to just connect that nose contour. I just love a nose contour so much. But yeah, so this is what that's looking like so far. Next up, I think I'm gonna be really brave and go ahead with Reezy. I'm not sure if this is the correct thing to do, but we are gonna go ahead with this shade right here. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that shade. So I'm gonna be picking that up with more of a eyeshadow shadow brush and something a little bit more flat and I'm gonna try and pack it in. Definitely with the formulation, they're really nice and soft. It's so pretty. And good news is as well, guys, you actually get a little brush in the palette as well, which actually is amazing. Like so many people say how much they love that because it's kind of just like on the go. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on building that. I'm packing it onto the eyelid and I'll be right back. So at this point, this is kind of what it's looking like. So I've literally just done both eyes and I've just applied the base and then smoked it out a little bit. This is again where it's not looking great. 
that you always get to that eye point where it's just like, this is not cute. Next up, we're gonna be going for this shade right here and it's called Semsa. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's kind of a burgundy kind of plummy color. So I'm gonna just pick that up with my blending brush and I wanna create more of a smoked out effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just build that up and I wanna create a little bit of depth. And what I really want is this to kind of wrap around the pink. Hopefully that will work. So kind of like that. And then I'm gonna take it a little bit higher just so it's a bit more, you can see a bit more, you know? This is this is the hooded eye life. Like it looks great like this and then it's like, oh, it's gone. And then again, guys, I'm just gonna be going in with my clean brush and just smoking that out across the edges. Make sure you always wanna blend it. This will diffuse the color and that's kind of what you want. And you just keep on building up, okay? Like so. All right, so as I sit here blending my eyeshadow, let's just chat. Let's have a little chat moment, guys. So yeah, what is everyone doing for this Valentine's Day? Like I said, like me and my boyfriend have been together for quite a while now and we just we don't really celebrate it, if I'm honest. Like we don't really do anything for Valentine's Day, but maybe we should. Like, I feel like we're quite good. Like we try to treat ourselves like now and then and it's always so fun to do something together. But yeah, we're definitely not limited by just the Valentine's Day, that would just be weird. Ooh, this is getting there. So remember guys, definitely whatever I say, like every single time I do my eyes, it's gonna look a bit weird before it looks better. You just have to trust the process and know that it will go right. And if it doesn't, you just wipe and start again. There's been a few of those moments sometimes in my life. I also wanna talk about, for all those people out there who are like single, um, before I met my boyfriend, I was actually single for quite some time and I definitely feel like, I don't know if it's just me guys, but it's like harder and harder to get into the dating world these days. I don't know what it is, but like I hear so many stories and honestly feel like sometimes like if I was to become single tomorrow, I wouldn't even know where to start. Like I think I would just have to be like going back to these apps and stuff because that's kind of like the only way that people really talk to people or like people get to meet people these days. Like people don't really chat like as you go out anymore. Like if you go to bars and clubs, like no one's even talking to anyone anymore. The romance is gone. It's just so easy nowadays to like connect with people online. And I definitely feel like it's just the way things are these days. Like it's just the way like the world we live in, which is kind of crazy. But definitely I would not be going on any first dates on Valentine's Day. That would be mad. That would be insane. It's probably like my worst, worst idea of anything. All right guys. So we literally just been building it up and again, just blending it out. This might look a little bit crazy right now, but it's all good. It will come into place. Next up, I'm gonna use the same shade with a smaller brush. I actually really like this one. I haven't used this before. This is so cute. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS12. So we're gonna go ahead with this and we're gonna take again Semsa and I'm gonna take it on the bottom. We are going for dramatic today, so we're gonna just go for it. So I'd actually love, love, love to ask you a question, guys. On Valentine's Day, what is your idea of the perfect gift? Like seriously, like do you prefer flowers? Do you prefer chocolates? Do you like diamonds? <laughs> like, I would just love to know because I feel like times have definitely changed and I definitely feel like flowers are so nice. They are so expensive and it makes me really sad because then they die. So I would rather get a plant, like a palm tree or like a little succulent or a little cactus or something because then you can just keep it in your house. It just makes me so sad that flowers just die. We're gonna go back to zooming in because I've just been chatting away. <laughs> Hello, we are up close and personal once again. It's actually such a beautiful shade, right? And that makes it look a lot more dramatic. I think my gift of choice would be like a weekend away and like a retreat or a spa. Like something like that would be amazing. Like an experience that we could do together. That's something that I would prefer. Like a little bit more of a memory. Do you know what I mean? Like that would be super cute. All right, so at this point, this is looking really cute, but we are going to go and just deepen up the look a little bit. Now I'm not sure if I want to go ahead with a black or this color on the end here. It's called Yugo. And I'm tempted to maybe just go ahead with this. So I'm thinking this will be a good one. And all I'm gonna do is kind of just like rub this on the outer corner of my eye just to kind of create a little bit of drama and just a little bit of depth and make it a little bit more moody because I feel like at the moment it's all very like one color. I'm gonna focus this a little bit more on the outside of the eye guys. 
And now I'm just dragging it into the waterline. Just going in. Okay, so you can already see how that just adds a little bit more drama. I feel like this is <laughs> very long. And if it's a little bit too long for you, then just be sure you have, this is like a used concealer brush. And I'm literally just gonna go ahead. And this is how easy it is guys, just clean it up. You know, no additional product, nothing like that. And it just cleans it up like that. How easy is that? Okay, so I'm actually really liking that little bit more drama. I'm just gonna try and blend it along the lash line a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go ahead with a slightly smaller brush and kind of like tight line it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a liner yet or not, but even if you don't add an eyeliner, I just feel like, look at the difference. Like this is more smoky and like has more of a depth to it. And then this one's just a bit more like unfinished. You can really see the difference guys, Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm basic and oh, hi, sultry. You want those sexy eyes? <laughs> At this point, we have kind of done both eyes. This is what it's looking like. So I want to add a tiny bit more iridescence and light to this look. And now I might just tight line my eyes as well with a bit of black. I wanna show you all the steps cause I want this to be very educational. So let me show you how I would do this. Okay, so to tight line my waterline, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty eyeliner. And this is great, cause it has two parts to it. It has this part, to help tight line your eyes. And then it also has, which is a liner, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so we can kind of see what difference that makes, right? It just really gets in there. Doing the top one's so weird. I don't know if I should film this, it's a bit strange. Ah. I know some people can literally just go in, but sometimes guys, it's so hard for me to do, I'm like, because I got such tiny little eyes. And I also feel like, because I wear contact lenses, it just feels really funny. Ooh, but look at the difference. So here we literally just have a completely tight lined and this is not. Do you see what difference that makes? Huge. Ooh. So after that painful experience, we are literally just going to use the other side and paint just a tiny little liner guys, nothing too crazy. I'm not gonna talk while I do this cause I have to concentrate, okay? So that's kind of what I want. I don't want to flick. I just want to like create that shape there make it extra black. So when I put on my lash, it just looks even more smoky. We can see what kind of difference that is. Cause I'm actually really enjoying this side by side. So you can see the actual difference. Next up, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more sparkle and iridescence. And I'm loving the look of this one. This one is called Bob and it just looks super cute. So for this, I'm actually gonna be using my fingers. I feel like sometimes with the formulation of these eyeshadows, they're just so much easier to do with your fingers. Uh, maybe I should have done that before the black liner, but oh well. So I'm gonna mainly tap that in the center of the lids just to add a tiny bit of dimension. I might have to go over that eyeliner again, but I'm actually, I'm not hating it right now, it's kind of cool. I'm just gonna use this to go a little bit closer. I can't get my fat finger in there. And this is a really good way to also cheat a cut crease. This is totally not a cut crease, but you can kind of see it's like a soft cut crease, you know? So I've changed my mind. I'm gonna use this brush because that way I don't get it all over the place. Absolutely love, love, love that. I think I'm also gonna take a little bit of that same shade and just highlight my brow bone with it. This is definitely a little bit stronger and maybe not for everyone. I'm just gonna go for it. You know, just play. This is what I mean. I literally just play around. It's not that deep. It just gives you that bit more dimension, you know? I've gone really high up. Maybe I shouldn't have gone that high, but oh well. I literally love just going in with that concealer brush, just making sure it's all kind of good. I am gonna go over that liner a little bit because I feel like it's kind of bothering me how it's looking. Okay, look at this. I'm actually loving how this is looking. I literally wish that you could see the mess in front of me. Like I wish I was more organized, but <laughs> no. So next up, I'm gonna be going in with these lashes from Doll Beauty. They are called Candy and they are so fluffy and so, so cute that they're just gonna be perfect for this look. I'm actually not fully sure what type of lip I should go for. I have no idea, like literally no idea. I'm not sure if I should go for a pink lip or maybe like a juicy glossy lip. Okay, so before I apply my lashes, of course I'm gonna go in with this pink mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I'm literally just going to pop that on. It's actually such a good mascara guys, cause it's kind of 
like dipped like this. So it just like really coats. It's easier for me to get in. So I'm literally just gonna go ahead and do both top and bottom lashes. This is such a good mascara, guys. Who has tried this? I know that this is really popular. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and pop these lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so lashes are now on. How cute are these lashes? I had to, I just had to go for another pink product. It just happens to be one of my favorite highlighters and this is the Doll Beauty. It's called Shine Bright. And if you have not tried Doll Beauty highlighters, you need to stop this video. You need to pause this video right now and you need to head on over and you need to get one. I'm gonna pop all the links down below of all the products that I'm using guys, but I honestly cannot deal with the formulation. I think this is one of the best highlighters out there on the market because it literally just ticks the box. Let me show you. What I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at this. A little bit of product. Literally just one dab. Like, come on. Use a brush like this as well to apply it. Like, pop in, right? I mean, this. See? Look at this. And in photography, when you want to, you know, slay the gram, then this is just the one. Okay, I'm going to put a tiny bit here, like this. Snatch the nose. Top lip. I always just do one side of my chin. No idea why. And... I should have used this really. I'm just gonna go on top. Yes. This is where you just go overboard. Ooh! Guys, I just love the highlight. I can't even deal. Look at that highlight though. <coughs> Who's over the highlight trend, by the way? Who? No one. Sometimes I do have a matte day, but very rarely. Okay, so now that all of those things are on my eyes, I'm just gonna use another cute pink product. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Oh my God, guys, this feels so good. I don't know if you meant to use it like this, but I am. Okay, let me do lips. Who's ready for lips? Okay, so for lips, I'm actually gonna reach into my bag and I've been using this from Victoria Beckham and it is her lip pencil. And I have to say guys, in terms of texture, and just the colors, they are stunning. Like if you like more of a neutral lip like me, then this is perfect. So this is the shade 02, I believe. Yeah, it's 02. And I, I'm quite new to like using her products, but I literally, I'm gonna do a, a nude lip, a glossy nude lip, okay? This is my, I always do this. I need to get out of this habit, but I just love a glossy nude lip. And what I've been doing recently as well, which is really strange, is I will draw in with the lip pencil and then I'll just, with my finger, press it. Like, I love this shade. I am obsessed. I love this shade so much. This shade is like my lip color. I think that's why I love it so much. Like, I don't want it to look too orange or too like peachy or too pinky. Like this, I've been looking for this forever. And this is, I honestly feel like this is the shade of my lip. This is it. Yeah, and again, I'm just gonna like, like blur it in. And my lips are already kind of big. I know what you're thinking. And this is definitely just made them look a little bit more juicy. Yeah, I don't know why I'm obsessed with this color so much. You, you guys are probably at home thinking it's the nude, babe, calm down. But honestly, it's not easy finding the nude. I don't know if anyone else has this problem where it's so, so hard to find the perfect nude. This video is not gonna be complete without this gorgeous gloss. It's called Major Glow Lip Shine by Patrick Tarr. So I'm gonna be using this and this. ASMR, can you hear this? Mmm, cute. I don't know what's in it guys, but this just smells and tastes so delish. I honestly feel like if it's Valentine's Day guys and you are on a date, if you're wearing red lipstick, how are you gonna get kisses? Like the guy's gonna get red lipstick all over him. So pink lipstick, red lipstick, lipstick with a gloss, it's gonna get messy. Whereas this, by the time I finish eating, most of it will be gone. I can just pat it away and then I'm ready, ready for the action. <laughs> right, who's ready for Valentine's Day? All right guys, so this is our finished look. I just wanna say, I hope you've absolutely love it. It's kind of like all things pink. I hope you have enjoyed the amount of effort just putting all the little products together. Whatever you're doing this Valentine's Day, I just want you to remember to love yourself, love yourself first, and then make sure you make someone's day and wish them happy Valentine's Day. And if you don't have a boo or a bae or a boy or a girl, then maybe take someone you care about, whether it be a friend, a relative, or just a stranger and just make their day and say, 
happy Valentine's Day, you know, without being strange and creepy. But yeah, I hope you've really, really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, share the love and leave a comment below. What are you doing this Valentine's Day? Let me know. I'm going to be sat at home eating prawn crackers and maybe watching a film. Yeah. From me to you, happy Valentine's Day. And I hope that you have the most amazing week slash year slash life, like sending a positive vibes your way. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and join the family if you're not yet part of a subscriber because I see, I've been looking at my analytics and there's so many of you that watch, but you're not subscribed. What's going on? What is going on here? But yeah, until next time guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Bye.